let's talk about the bigger problem of chronic inflammation. Most people with chronic inflammation are mainly concerned with the pain and stiffness part of that inflammation. What I want to do is increase your awareness of some bigger problems other than just the sensation of pain and stiffness. So there are four main cytokines. Cytokines are proteins that are pro-inflammatory. There are things in our body that cause inflammation or swelling. And they're very weird sounding names, okay, which we're not going to get into except for this one right here. TNF-alpha stands for tumor necrosis factor alpha. And the reason why they originally named it tumor necrosis factor is because it destroys and kills cancer as one of the benefits. However, there's a paradox to this. It also can increase the risk of growing tumors in certain parts of your body, like in the colon. And so if there's higher levels of TNF, you may prevent cancer in one part of your body, in the liver, for example, but you may grow a tumor in your colon. And there's a lot that's unknown about this right now, but whether it's increasing a tumor or decreasing a tumor, the best thing is we just want inflammation out of the body. Now, chronic exposure to this cytokine over time in low doses can create three different big problems. We already talked about this one right here, increasing your risk of tumors. And by the way, as a side note, it can increase the spread of cancer. Cancer tends to migrate in areas of inflammation. And so this protein is involved in the spreading of cancer. Another thing that this protein could do is actually trigger something called cachexia. And this condition is a wasting syndrome of your muscles. And then number two, depression. So if you're exposed to this cytokine or chronic inflammation, you potentially could start seeing a lot of wasting of your muscles, your mood is greatly affected, and now you have this risk of cancer, tumors, and even the spread of cancer. And those are the bigger problems of chronic inflammation. Now, if we look at the treatment for chronic inflammation, whether it's an autoimmune disease or a chronic arthritis, they use prednisone and definitely Humira, which is a medication for chronic inflammation. But here are some slight minor complications. When you take prednisone, one of the big side effects is increased risk of diabetes because it increases glucose in the body. Humira also has a potential side effect in certain individuals of causing diabetes type 2. I'm going to put the links down below. Well, what's the problem with that? Hyperglycemia, which is high sugar in the blood, downregulates certain genes that increase this cytokine. So even though these two treatments inhibit this, the blood sugar issue can then start increasing this. So we kind of have this intention to get rid of this problem, yet it's causing the problem. Well, I think you already know what to do if you've been watching my channel. If you're new to my channel, you want to get off the carbs. Go low carb. I put a link down below of how to do that. It's called Healthy Keto. Number two, start on intermittent fasting. One of the most powerful things you can do for dropping inflammation. Number three, start taking vitamin D3 in higher amounts. I would recommend at least 20,000 international units per day. Um, you might even want to do 30,000 IUs per day. It's one of the best vitamins for reducing inflammation. And number four, start to rid out of your diet any omega-6 fatty acid. That would include the soy oil, the corn oil, the vegetable oils, the canola, the safflower, the sunflower oils. You can definitely do certain omega-6 oils like uh, evening primrose or black currant seed oil or even better yet, olive oil. Those are fine. But consuming omega-6 fatty acids are definitely inflammatory and that can trigger this. And I put a link down below of a video that I did on this right here. All right. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Before you go, if you have a question about a product or you're new to keto and you want to know how to begin keto or you're on keto and you need a debug because it's not going as smooth, I have a keto consultant standing by to help you. This is just for the people in the U.S. 
Hopefully in the future we'll be able to answer everyone's call. But I put the number down below so you can call and get some help.